Teachers in our community are invited to come in once a month and take up to 15 items at no cost to them. And these items come from businesses in our community who have excesses, whether it's paper supplies or just office supplies or craft supplies. And so we have a focus group that we're, who we're giving it to. We have the teachers. It's going to the teachers and it's going to the classrooms. I was so excited. I got the email one day and I said, oh, I'll, I'll take a look at this later. And when I did read more about it, I was like, put me down. I have to go. <laughs> you know, because the first year teacher, I need those things. I'll take anything. <laughs> The first week I was here, I spent like $80 at Target in one night getting the bins, getting all of that stuff that I needed. And I had to buy stickers and snacks and um, markers, things that I'm going to need as a teacher so that my classroom could be successful. In the last nine weeks, I've been teaching out of pocket at least a hundred of my own supplies and money. <laughs> the school supplies a lot, but like the snack alone, they're so hungry by the middle of the day. So it's like I have to have something for them. And parents are really good sometimes they'll send stuff so there's lots of free and reduced lunches here so I don't want to put another financial burden on families who have you know multiple children in the school or the list of needed supplies is getting longer and longer and we know this because in August as parents um, we get that list in the mail and that is the need of the teachers and of our schools and it's not always attainable by every family here in our community. Teachers have always supplemented their classroom supplies and what it takes for them to do their jobs effectively. They have always spent their own personal money to make that happen. And they want to have a great environment in their classroom and they want their kids in their classrooms to be supplied.